season mother funking too. You heard me. Warning. The following video contains blackmail, threats of violence, identity theft, and the revelation of personal information, all for the sake of cowardly intimidation. The email is being turned over to local law enforcement, as well as the reporting of said user's YouTube account and channel to Google. We also filed a complaint with FBI over identity theft along with local law enforcement. We will be going forward in the identification of said party through YouTube with legal representation. This email and video was submitted to YouTube Legal. If you have been a victim of identity theft, blackmail or threats to your person please contact your local law enforcement as well as ISP provider. If it is linked to a YouTube channel, follow the steps we did above. Stay safe online. A lot of people cannot take criticism. They not socially conditioned. They have this new school aura and new school energy of like, yo, bro, what about my feelings? <laughs> Nigga, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Straight up and down like that. I don't give a fuck about nobody's feelings, bro. Unless it's we talking about my children. And even nine times out of ten, I don't give a fuck about their feelings neither. It's what needs to be done. So yeah, some people can't take criticism because their mind's not like that. They can't hear somebody say some shit and they be like, yo, you're projecting, bro. You whack. Because again, is your question, how can we get it done? Or is your question not a question? question is just a bro I don't really know how that's gonna happen oh you don't cool what else you got for me that that was your contribution <laughs> I'm gonna get there. Y'all give me some. Whoo, <laughs> man. All right. So, <laughs> so I had to read. We, I had to share this with somebody first and say, "Look, man, am I? Is it just me, or does this sound like a grown ass man?" <laughs> <laughs> what does it sound like? Some some 13-year-old or something to a seven-year-old that just learned how to curse that plays Call of Duty. And after a consensus, we all came to the conclusion that yes, it sounds like this dude was definitely 100 percent without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> just learned how to curse yesterday. And I was the I was the first one. To come up with it. Now. So. Before I go into this. You have to know. That this is your boy. Piece of piece. And he is so. Upset with me. Because. He's upset with me. So, we're going to go find out why he is so upset with me to where we have reached to what we have today. What do we have today, Eric? Well, we have another email of a salty detractor that... I have Destiny playing in the background. I should, <laughs> that should tell you something, right? I need to turn this off so I can give it my focus. I'm playing, about to play Destiny on this. I'm like, well, I just want to talk about it before I lose the lose the train of thought. But hang on. There you go, Destiny. You are now quiet. Um. There you go. So my man, peace of peace, God rest him, God bless him, brother. You know, I, I, personally speaking, uh, I don't have nothing against him, to be quite honest with you. I really don't. I don't. I actually gave him a compliment to him. He's probably one of the smartest people in the community. But, you know, 
when you're as dangerous as I am, because let's be honest, anything that any criticism that is given to a detractor, any criticism that is given to a detractor is automatically bad. Automatically. Instantaneous. Instant without a shadow of a doubt. Now, I have a reason behind why I think so. And I'm going to address that as we go through this thing here. And I'd like to say before I get into it, I still don't have any personal dislike for Peace of Peace, to be quite honest with you. I don't think he's a very, I don't think he's anything of a terrible human being whatsoever. I was wrong about one young, young man. But, you know, it's, I'd rather be, I'd rather be wrong about a person, me hoping that they're better than, better than who they are. And then when they open their mouth and I find out, damn, you're just, you're worse than I thought. So, Peace of Peace eloquently uh, spoke with me in this email. This email was definitely, um, very charged, if I, can, if I can say the least. There was definitely um, a lot on his mind in, in this conversation. And if I could be so bold, I would say that he's very upset with me. He is not a very big Eric Miller fan. And... If it was anybody else, I would probably say something completely off the wall and rude and crude. But I probably will because there's just no decorum when it comes down to how you're going to cuss somebody out. Look, I get that the comments that I have made rubs people the extra salty way. I totally get that. I totally get that you don't like me because whatever reason you have because of my saltiness, right? I'm sure that when you hear my voice, it just turns into an uproar and just all type of injustices that I have committed against you is now on the table. I'll even accept that little bit of whatever that is. But you know what I will not accept? I will not accept to be talked to like he doesn't know how to form a complete sentence. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Look, I get Snor Burnell don't like me. I get he is just his panties all in a bunch. I get that. I get some of Julius Cruz and his false atheism claim because ain't no atheist act that stupid. I'm sorry. Giving atheists a bad name, bro. And I can even, well, Snort, don't, Snort Hogan don't do a damn thing and Chill Murray don't do a damn thing. So I don't really care. Duty still avoids me like, I, like he owes me money. So I don't really care. But just to be cussing for cussing's sake, just, just mad. I get it. I totally get it. Almost like I bullied them, huh? They almost got, they, they're, they're responding back as if I bullied them. As if I talked against them and they didn't have a chance to speak up for themselves. You know, it sounds familiar. Do you know the reason to talk all nasty and salty? Do you know I... I I had to dig deep, not really, but I had to dig into some to, to that old nature and commit to sin. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's not. I'm not right on that. But to give back what they give to others and to see the vitriol reaction showed me more than you could ever imagine. I mean, let's look at it. Alleged detractors. 
These are supposed to be, in order to be a detractor, you've got to have your stuff not as smelly as everybody else's. You can't look like them. You can't act like them. You can't talk like them. You can't even get close to them. You have to look like you look. You know, for you to say, I'm a detractor against Philip. You got to make sure that you don't have nothing in common with Philip. Y'all two ain't scumbags. Y'all two don't dox people. Y'all two, y'all two don't, you know, you just don't have the same makeup. And damn it, wouldn't you know it? You do. Imagine this. Man that tracks, fills every, ex well, not, I wouldn't say expenditure, but ex expenditure from someone else that comes in. Tracks at every inch and second of a transaction. Can't take the criticism that, look, you're doing restreams and they're, that's not content creation uh, and you're stealing from Philip. Okay, one is my opinion. The other one's a fact. But see, this is what happens when, uh, when, 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 I, when I showed you what bullies do. Whether they didn't see this coming or not, maybe they, they didn't. But they're acting just like the thing I said that they're doing. Wouldn't it make sense that they not do these things? Wouldn't it be able, wouldn't it be so to say like, well, I'll be sitting there going, man, I was wrong about them. Man, I was definitely wrong about these dudes, man. I, I went off on a tirade. I was very upset with something that, that hit me. And you know what? I was completely foul. I, I definitely should have known better to just, just I should have, can't. No, none of that. None of that came to mind. Nothing that I said as of right now matters at all. It only mattered what I showed you. Because see, this whole time I've been telling you these guys are the bullies. They they don't look they're not looking out for justice and accountability for Philip. They're not interested in those kind of things. You know, every time I was saying that. Everybody and their mama just didn't hear it. And they thought, oh, that ain't true. They are exactly what I said that they are. 100%. They're using everything from, we'll dox you. Oh, we're going to make you pay. We're going to make you miserable. Oh, you mean everything that bullies do? Is that right? Is that what I'm hearing, dog? You're going to do everything that bullies do? You think they thought about that? Nah. Cause I'm gonna tell you why. Because they're exactly what I told you they are. You think they're your friends one minute? They're not. I showed you that friendship. Friendships only last until someone gains a conscience. The minute you gain a conscience, that friendship's gonna be over. I've showed you every aspect of how nasty and evil they could be, and I made sure I pressure tested it. I wanted to make sure. That I came so far out that would be upsetting. But you know what I didn't think, I didn't really anticipate for? Every one of them is acting foul. All of them are okay in bullying behavior. All of them have and will and continue to enjoy and turn to bullying behavior. Now, with all of these things now proven by just my account alone, it's just my account alone. Everybody and mama can look back and say, oh, damn, man, he's right. And I don't give up. I really don't care how you feel about me, to be quite honest with you. It doesn't change my way of getting up and going to bed in the morning. It doesn't change my worship of God. It doesn't change nothing. Matter of fact, the only thing it does change is videos. That's it. Everything else is exactly what it is. Now, as I'm going through this situation, and I remember I was waiting at a restaurant, and I'm sitting here just after I got a <laughs> really angry, angry, some of Julius Cruz. Just, just mad. 
Tell me, I'm an atheist. I don't buy it. Been an atheist for 27 years. We, there, there is a, yeah, no, no. I think you claim it because it's cute, but are you really? It, no. Um, so anyway, and that's exactly where I leave it because that's how important it is. I just think some people should just make, keep making interesting content because when they open their mouth, yeah, just, just, yeah, this is just not, this is not one of those things you should be doing. Just let other people do it. But when I, when Peace of Peace came along, and again, God bless him. God bless him put together that amazing sheet of tracking Philip for whatever reason that is there for, I don't know. Um, I know somebody said, well, it, because people come by and see that how much is Phil spending and they're not going to give him money. Clearly that has not happened because they are still giving that dude money. But, you know, who am I to say anything other than just my opinion? It's a waste of time because he will continue to make money. And for every person that doesn't go by there, it's probably 10 or 20 or even more if they even know that, you know, he exists. Not because I think Piece of Piece is a terrible content creator, but if you don't know who to look for and Philip ain't talking about you, ain't nobody going to know. So, um, well, let's read this and then I'm going to read to you um, why I believe 100% that what's wrong with these content creators that are allegedly detractors why they're not qualified I know that's a harsh thing to say I know that people are like Eric that's kind of I mean you're not a gatekeeper I'm not you can take whatever I say literal or not you can believe what I'm telling you or not you can take it or not take it you can shove it twist it turn it I mean I'm trying to tell you to do that but I don't really care. I'm just going to tell you by, if you're going to be a detractor, you need to make sure that you are not doing the very things that would cause someone to not want to listen to you. In order to be an effective detractor, well, let's, let's be straight honest what the word really means. The word really means you're going to be a good critic. Okay. If you're going to be a good critic, one of the best things you can learn as a critic is that people, you got to make it to where people would be willing to listen to you, whether they like you or not. Okay? Whether they like you or not, they need to be able to say, yeah, uh, you know, I don't like this dude, but you know, he did make some sense. You got to be able to say that with them. So needless to say, none of them be able to do that. And trust me, I was hoping. There's still a few others out there that do good work i'm not gonna sit up there and go to bat for him because it doesn't really matter if i go to bat for him not it doesn't really matter i ain't nobody but um it's just it's a, it's such a shock to see just how, how how emotionally unhinged these men are because someone disagrees with them someone disagrees with them on an extreme level and he wants to I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a doctor and make sure you're going to pay you know what dude if you want to go to the if you want to go through the idea of putting well, I have to put another body on my record you go right ahead if that makes you feel better so be it but just look how stupid you look after all this ends hits the fan you're all doing this because you can't handle criticism i handle criticism like a son of a chicken man it you can hit me with some criticism and i'm like great the more credibility you have the better the criticism will be taken down if it's an observation people may gave, gave me observations i did what i could what i couldn't do i didn't do it's that simple so I mean, I did I, what what it, what information they gave me. I gave what I could, what I could, and I did what I could do, and what I couldn't do, I couldn't do. And that's where that's where the channel is. It is it is what it is. However, what's not okay was for me. What's well, not okay for me to learn that these dudes cannot handle confrontation on any level. I mean, they just 
can. So what that tells me is very simple. In order for so for the success of the detractor community to be a total success, for it to be working and doing what it's supposed to do, it has to have no one that disagrees on any level and criticize. Where they could have you could have said it nicer. I did. I actually was relatively sweet. If I had to say so myself, I was relatively sweet. But to sit here and watch all these grown ass men who pretty much I've reduced them to acting like children. Now I want y'all to think about this for a second. I know I'll get to the reading this in a second, but it ain't that much on here and we gotta we gotta put some content on here. And let's be honest, the only thing original coming out of it right now is me. We've got to look at the overall of what's being said and what's being what's being discussed. I've had people in other communities that from religion that have ripped and tore and spit and loogied and everything you could think of toward me. Not once did I resort to childish antics. That's not true. I think I did it twice. Twice I do remember because I had to apologize. And there that's all on my that's also out there too. I didn't take nothing off. I keep everything up there. And so because why? People need to see my mistakes. I, I don't want to hide myself from that. That's, that's stupid. You try to protect your image. I ain't got no damn image. I got the best. Oh, I do have some, but for the most part, it ain't. It is what it is. But to watch these men fall back to their five-year-old elementary, middle school level thinking was very, very painful. The first thing that a couple of friends saw, they're like, wow, that's that's a grown ass person. Yeah. Wow, dog. Now, I understand. They understand that. Trust me, I showed them all my stuff. So I'm pretty brutal. But they said, did you th they hear you laughing? Yeah, they heard me laughing. And they that was personal to them. They didn't take that as, oh, it's OK. You know, he's making jokes and jabbing. No, they all took this into themselves so seriously I mean, I admit that they don't make good content. I admit, I admitted that. Yes, 100%. But that's just my opinion. Who cares? Clearly, they care. Matter of fact, they care so much that here we are. Some have, wants to try to open up a door that he is not prepared for. But both my lawyer and the other side of the fence is both ready. Why? Because we got we got approved. We get to get an identity. Probably could be Thursday or Friday. We get the full identity of an individual. And then from there, we just put I put some redundancies in place and, and then we go from there. They ain't nothing, nothing terrible. Just I told my I told anybody in my family, shoot first, ask questions later. That, that, and that's not a big thing because all of us always stay strapped, so it's not a big deal. And two, want well, my lawyer to make sure he's there because you know what? I'm gonna definitely execute a hundred percent. A criminal, a, crim a, a criminal record. I'm going to, as soon as I get that name, I'm going to add that to the report. And I'm definitely going to do that. A hundred percent. Why? Why not? To be quite honest with you, I want to see just how far the cyberbullying stuff takes it. Because see, it's one thing when people do it anonymously. It's another if you turn in the name and then you have the, you have all. Anything and everything that was said and all the people in there, eventually all of those names are going to come up. Just, just a matter of time. I ain't, I'm not like them. I don't dox anybody like that. But being who I know and what I, what, what the people that I'm around, just in case, I, I need to put a little insurance in there and just leave it at that. Nothing else. Otherwise, whatever you know. But you understand just how pathetic they are. You understand how horribly pathetic these men are. I mean, use men loosely. They are so butthurt that I criticized their content. And now they want to take it to a place where some one of them could lose their damn life. Behind Philip, 
Do you know how stupid you got to be? But no, actually it's different. Do you know how mentally unstable you have to be? Because there is a mental stability that is that I can question and bring it bring it to question right now. But right now we're gonna read this whack letter. And I'll show you never this is a grown ass man now. Possibly with family, friends, you know, house, car, job. Grown ass man talks like a like he just learned how to curse yesterday. God bless him. Half Mary. Hello, 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 F face. You're really not the smartest guy, are you? Stupid inbred effer. You ran your big fat effing mouth even after we talked and you said you weren't talking about me. You tend to run your fat lips. You uh, get re so he likes my lips too. You starting to notice a pattern here yet? And I'm not even trying to be funny. There is just a weird fetish with men, and you don't have to. Have, you can have a fetish with men. There was a man that I remember watching an episode, and I thought it was a joke. But guys had to, he's a straight male. He's married, and he has a, a fetish and an interest to see men's penises. He's not gay. He doesn't want gay sex. He just, he loves to look at men's penises. Do you know how weird it is for people to make these kind of comments? Because now you realize they really focusing on you. I mean, I know I'm a bad man, but dang. And if you notice, I'm not cursing necessarily because I feel really sorry for this brother. When I came out from the restaurant, I really was in a very introspective mood because I realized this thing has played itself to its to its core. I was I'm I'm ahead by almost four and a half months. I thought maybe five, six months I would get to where I'm at today to find out who's who. It took me a month and a, and a week, maybe a couple of weeks to figure out every single one of these dudes have no self-esteem. No confidence in a product. I found out some lie. Others steal. Others do illicit and illegal activities. Others dox and, and want to make paper threats. And Because you can't handle criticism. And that's where my heart, I feel really sorry for them. You're inbred. I actually know where my family lines come from. Like I can, we trace them and I can guarantee you that ain't it. Not even by far, but Hey, I'm glad you're thinking about the, the, the sexual nature of that thing to, for, for me to be made. I'm a good job there, bud. You, you showed me. You, you made fat lips. Hey, keep my lips out of your damn thought process. You perv. And let me let me be clear about this. Now, here's a man talking greasy, but he did spell my name and got my, got my title right. Trust me on that one. <laughs> he may be yelling and screaming out his day, but he definitely got my name right, did he not? Remember what I told you about what power looks like? He didn't he didn't change that at all. He made sure that who, 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 that, that's his name. That's his name. You damn right. He could talk as greasy as he wants. There was some respect on that. But that's fine. And again, we talked, and I still never included you, man. The only time I didn't include you is when I was giving you props. But see, none of these suckers can handle criticism. I've been handling criticism since oh, it's a while. I'm used to it. I can hear the good and I can hear the bad. If you don't have any real discernment, which is one thing that God talks about, how do you have no discernment to realize when somebody's talking about you and not talking about you? How, you? how do you involve yourself in something that doesn't include you? Shouldn't you have more faith in yourself to know what's going on? But you know what? When you don't, when you ain't got a clue who you are, you don't have a real understanding of where you stand, and you're living yourself in someone else's life. They live in Philip's life, life, for crying out loud. Do you realize 
this is what they believe life, life is about. Life to them is Philip. Period. Philip, 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 Philip. It's all Philip. Philip is this and Philip. Man, we're going to do some Philip over here and there's some Philip and there's some Philip on that left side and there's more Philip. Wait, what? Really, dog? It's all Philip? Yeah. Because you got to remember, they're not, they can't distinguish themselves outside in reality to where somebody goes, hey, man, I don't like your content. Oh, that's, that's understandable, bro. That's cool. Eric, your content is crap. I, I totally understand you feel that way. Man, you suck. I totally get that you feel that way. I, I can't stand you. I, I, hey, dog, I get it. That's it. But I don't have a lack of understanding who the hell I am. I know who I am. More importantly, I know who God says I am. And ain't none of that gonna change. Ever. On this earth. And beyond. And ain't nothing any of these men or women or anybody on this earth walking can change that truth. Period. But to him, look, look, watch this. Look at you now. You mean, look at me, the man that destabilized your community. It only took me. It's one man did all this. One man exposed every single one of y'all for being the, the anonymous bullies as I believed you were. Some surprising came out like him. But imagine that. And the, the effort, the stock of the community. Fuck, I'd have to say this. Anything of anybody that thinks somehow I'm concerned about how people feel about me in the grand scheme of things. I have never and will never need the approval or seeking the approval of man. It it doesn't exist anymore. I don't care. I ain't trying to be nobody's hero and nobody can be mine. There ain't a man out there I care to earn their damn respect and vice versa. If it happens, it happens, but I ain't lifting a finger to change an aspect of something outside of me being naturally doing the things that makes me a Christian. Now I'm a horrible Christian. I'm getting better. But beyond that, there ain't a person on this earth whose accolade I need to listen to. Especially in the community, 99% can kiss my ass. Well, 97%. There's a 3% of folks that support the video, support what I'm doing. They give me encouraging, encouraging emails. Some have just abandoned it all together. Of course, I don't show any of that because you know what? It is irrelevant for none of these numbskulls. Excuse me, you know, Father, for cursing. I was doing so good, but I just, I need to let them know. I don't, if you want me to be, look, make me the lab stock of, 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 of your community. You want to know something funny about that? It's the first time your community's had anything original in it other than feel. How about that one? If you're using any of my videos, that's the first time you've used original content in any of your stuff. You're welcome. And the sad part about it is you keep doing it because the more you do it, the bigger it gets. Because you think you stopping something. Y'all don't have a track record of preventing someone from moving forward. Y'all have a track record of empowering someone to move forward. You understand what I'm saying? Making meme videos don't make people stop watching Phil. It makes people want to watch Phil. You want to know something? Here's a funny, <clears throat> funny email that came in last week. Hey, man, I saw what you call her. I, I refuse to name that brother because they don't make content. Made, made, made a video about you, but I was like, who the hell is that? And now they watched it. The, they now, they now sub to the channel. And I talk, I've been talking to them ever since. <clears throat> it's funny how you want to bury somebody, but you forgetting the God component, brother. I don't believe in that. 
I he could it's irrelevant to you if you believe or not in the truth of God. He's still God. He still moves. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're going to mess around, do some stuff you ain't supposed to. And then you're going to be sitting out there asking, why did I do? Why is this happening to me? I can't believe this is. Look, it is what it is, homie. And you know what the sad part about it is? I, I only, it's not really personal for the majority of these dudes, to be quite honest. Snort Hogan's and all that. Whatever. Um. Uh, ch chill deal pickle yeah look because he, he came in my face and pulled a judas that's that's a and then claimed to be a christian when i know for a fact ain't nothing around that dude the only god that's next to him is the one that he made up and is smoking and drinking and that trust me on that one that is the one dude that really bet not reach out to me because i'm going to show you exactly why i know for a fact he is not saved. And the Bible says, don't do that. Well, I'm going to show you there are false Christians. They're 100% dime a dozen. I got videos to show you. People are like, oh, man, I see it that way. And he, he can wreck his little email all he wants. It'll get made as content. And then I'm going to show you by his email why he can't be saved. It's an impossibility. The God that he's thinking of is the God that like any other God that people make up is idolatry. I, I like God too, but he allows me to be this way and be that way. Be that. That's not what the Bible says. If the, if the biblical God don't agree with you, then you got one that's made up. Good luck. Appreciate you. See you next year. But I want you guys to think about this again before I go to a study to show you why these soft brothers cannot handle criticism, which again disqualifies them. And Philip has disqualified them. That's why they have to go through these double, these, these, well, very disgusting, horrible avenues to try to get him to do things because they don't have the character to get him to do it up front. They don't have the justice in them, the morale to be able to do something up front. You know, these dudes, I've been threatened by all these dudes. And I always, I always think the same thing. Y'all mad over Philip? You sick, twisted sons of cheese heads. Are y'all serious right now? I ain't been a, a mad over a man in like ever. Ever. But I guess when he feeds you and made your career, changes things. People cannot take criticism. They not socially conditioned. They have this new school aura and new school energy of like, yo, bro, what about my feelings? <laughs> Nigga, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Straight up and down like that. I don't give a fuck about nobody's feelings, bro. Unless it's we talking about my children. And even nine times out of ten, I don't give a fuck about their feelings neither. It's what needs to be done. So yeah, some people can't take criticism because their mind's not like that. They can't hear somebody say some shit and they be like, yo, you're projecting, bro. You whack. The pastor got told the same thing. You are projecting, pastor. Stop. This was constantly the case in the comments section and in emails. Guess what? We still don't care about your feelings. Either let's fix the issues or go back to milking Phil for content. One more thing. Can you please stop fantasizing about the pastor's beautiful full lips? It's cringe, bro. Real cringe. Because again, is your question, how can we get it done? Or is your question, not a question, it's just a bro, I don't really know how that's going to happen. Oh, you don't? Cool. What else you got for me? That, that was your contribution. All right, so check this out. We're going to talk about, this is from the Merrick Manual. And this is about avoidance personality disorder. I bet y'all don't think there was something like that, huh? But take a look at this. People with avoidant personality disorder are afraid of being rejected, criticized, or embarrassed, and thus avoid situations where they may experience such reactions. Doctors diagnose avoidant personality disorders based on specific symptoms such as avoiding situations that involve interpersonal contact between, because of fear of rejection and disapproval or feelings of being socially incompetent, unappealing, or inferior to others. Are y'all starting, starting to get that now? You're starting to get that vibe now? It's starting to sink in? People with this order may benefit from cognitive behavioral therapy, other pre-psychotherapies, and anti-anxiety drugs and antidepressants. 
Personality disorders are long lasting, pervasive patterns of thinking, perceiving, reacting and relating that cause the person significant distress and or impairs the ability to function. Why do you think they get so upset with me when I say, hey, your content's crap? I want to kill you. I want to burn everything. What? Can you imagine going through life like that? That would be terrifying to me. Get me some constructive feedback. Great. Then let me go ahead and put that into place. No, not these dudes. Soft. People avoiding with avoidant personality disorder feel inadequate. They manage their feelings by avoiding situations which they may be evaluated negatively. Where, where am I sitting at? Where am I? It's only 2% of the population and we got it right here. Um, and guess what? Y'all can look at the symptoms. Look at what's going on. Look at how fast they flipped and turned their backs. This is all right here for you. All right here. Isn't that sad? Isn't that terrible? Just, you can see this on the screen when you get a chance. Fear of rejection, there's different stuff here. Extreme, here's the one that really applies to them. Extreme sensitivity to criticism. That's these brothers. People with avoidant personality disorder are very sensitive to anything critical, disapproving, <clears throat> or mocking because they constantly think about being criticized or rejected by others. Need I say more? They are vigilant for any sign of, ne of a negative response to them. Their tense, anxious appearance may elicit mockery or teasing, thus seeming to confirm their self-doubts. Am I just reading off every detractor that's reached out to me's playbook? Every single thing I just read is them dudes. But I'm the unhinged one. I made these people lose their damn minds because I said their content was crap. They're acting immorally and they endorse cyberbullying. All the very things that they're doing. Keep that in mind now. I've still yet to be wrong. Low self-esteem and a sense of inadequacy inhibit these people in social situations, especially new ones. I wouldn't be surprised. People with avoidant personality disorder long for social interaction, but fear placing their well-being in the hands of others. That's pretty relative. I get that. I can understand that. I, the hardest thing for me was place my, 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 um, my faith in God. Cause let me tell you, that's a hard thing to do. It, it's difficult for children to place faith outside of your parents, let alone the God of the universe that created everything. And I, you want me to put my life completely in your hands, Father? And I'm, I'm, I'm hardwired to understand the physical. And wouldn't you know it? Best place my soul can be. And not to beat a dead horse over, but I just, I think that's enough. I don't want nobody to feel, because this that's a, it's a personality issue. And I don't want nobody to feel bad about their mental disorders and stuff. Because you know what? We all suffer through something. I know between my PTSD and all the stuff that it brings with it, it's not fun. You know, uh, the things that I've lived through, the things that other people live through, you know, we, we should, I sh you know, there, it'd be insensitive for me to make it, make those, you know, to kind of try to belittle that, which I don't. I have no desire to do so. But, man, it is, it's terrifying I'm getting a little emotional right now. How crazy. Because these are some of the people that I thought were more respectful toward doing the right thing. And to hell with application point. Just how quickly that they can turn because it's with one person can lie against you and it goes unpunished. It goes without an issue. And then that grows into from from duty to 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 Dort Hogan to 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 House Negro number two, and then you got the third one rolling in. I mean, it's just it's been long slide down into a toilet. That I realized, wow, what I thought was just maybe a few people, it's pervasive. I'm gonna have to honestly tell you, there may be only three or four 
maybe content creators that are detractors that actually are decent folks. I'm hoping. And I can tell you how you find them. They're starting to make less and less field content. Because that field content, man, brings in the element of evil that people do not understand is not it's just not worth having in your life. It is disgusting. It's gross. It makes you no different than him. And let's let's be and let's 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 use the, the analogy from, from Dark Knight Returns. They may have started out as a good guy, but they the villain now. Because all I did was show them the truth of who they were, and they just could not fathom that. And I get it. It doesn't change anything, but I get it. Man, my heart's heavy. Man, deep reflection. I'm sitting there going, man, they're, they're really, this is it. This is like, none of these dudes, no, not, none of these dudes, man. None of them, to them, they monetized Philip. They absolutely monetized Philip and then tried to act and insulate themselves to be something that I just, I exposed them for not being. I'm a lot of things. I'm a whole lot of things. But I definitely don't seek to not, you know, be somebody that avoids being moral. I don't try to bully anybody. And let me tell you, my wife would be the first to tell you, oh yeah, he was a bully. And yeah, I did. And I tore my family up that way. I tore a lot of friendships up that way. I was a sick, Son of a chicken. You could, yes. Narcissistic. Absolutely. The aggressive. Yes. Absolutely. But I don't take no joy in that. Well, not anymore. There's nothing about that life of doing those things. Bring enjoyment. The fact that for these brothers. It, it's hard. It's hard. It hurts. The fact that I expose them and the fan base that supports them. They're no different than Phillips. It's funny how that works. It depends on which aisle of the seat you're on, which one is the lull cow. The detractors on the right or Phil on the left. To be personally speaking, there's no difference between the two. Phil's defrauding his audience. The detractors are defrauding their audience. Phil acts immoral. They act more immoral. <laughs> He's a little cow. They're little cows. Because if you want to qualify a little cow, somebody to make they are very eccentric and they do things that don't make sense. These guys are angry, butt hurt, and violently pissed at me because I told them they're immoral, their contents crap, and they use Phil for money. If they're and just think, that's only a month's worth of work. And I never had to dig into them as people at all. Nor do I want to. Ew. They are not the most interesting people in the world. So no thank you. That was one thing. But why don't you dig in there and find out? Ew. No, dog. Why? I ain't going to find nothing but more crap. No, I leave evil to evil. I don't even know. Look, they've already told me everything who they are. I'm cool. I ain't got to. I trust what they told me. Bye. That's who I just basically exposed to you guys, brothers and sisters in this community. I, I exposed you who your detractors are. The people who are supposed to be critics to Philip can't take criticism. And you telling me those are heroes to you. You know, I'm sorry. In reality, we call those zeros, not heroes. Love you very much. I'll see you guys soon in Jesus' name. I'm sorry I didn't read the, the whole... Um, email because kind of, honestly I got I was let down you know when I'm let down by somebody I don't I just move on I love you guys I'll see you guys soon in Jesus' name amen Yeah, get him the hell out of here, will you please?
Get him out of here. Throw him out.